Welcome and happy Friday. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in church on Sunday. But before we get there, I actually want to look back one day uh, to yesterday, Thursday, a special day, a celebration that was going on. Uh, our preschool here at Desert Foothills was closed in remembrance of something. Uh, a lot of federal employees had the day off of work to be able to recognize a certain day. Uh, in fact, uh, I saw quite a few parades that were happening uh, around our neighborhood. We had some road closures because they were putting on a celebration, again, of something important for our nation. I'll get to that in just a second. First, let's look at our Bible verse for today. It comes from the book of Joshua, chapter 1, uh, verse 9, a beautiful verse. Have I not commanded you, God says, be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So yesterday, uh, the celebration, of course, that I'm talking about was Veterans Day, a day in which we remember and celebrate all of those who have honorably served our country in so many different ways and a variety of different uh, branches in the military. In fact, uh, I just had a neighbor pass away a, a few weeks ago. Now he lived just cat a corner from me. His name was Dennis. Uh, he was 102 years old and he fought every single day in the Battle of Iwo Jima as just a, a young teenage boy, basically. Uh, I know for him and for many others, the battles that they fought uh, were just horrendous. I don't think I could imagine those things or ever say that I, I understand what you went through because I, I didn't. What I do understand is uh, that concept of, of fear, that concept of fright, and the trial that we face of having to overcome that. Many people within, as I mentioned, a variety of branches in the military have faced some uh, very difficult things, all because they were fighting on your behalf and mine. And I hope for all of you vets out there today that you take that Bible verse to heart. For those who are actively serving and, of course, for those who have uh, served so many different years and are still uh, encouraging the younger generation to be able to do the same, uh, do not fear, do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God goes with you wherever you go. In fact, that's a great verse for all of us to be able to remember, to be able to be reminded of the, the God who fights on our behalf every single day. And that's something that we are able to celebrate. And so again, we thank all of our vets who mimic that response of our God. Uh, many of those who have been able to give up so much, uh, personal things, professional things, you name it, all so that they could, again, uh, care for us and provide our freedom. And remember, our Savior does that exact same thing, uh, dare I say it so, on a much more important level. Not just our lives here on this earth, but our lives throughout all of eternity. And so today, too, and every day, we celebrate uh, both the commandments that we have to be able to love our neighbor, but also to be able to love our God who gives all things for our ultimate freedom. Let's pray. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, we know that uh, in this world you tell us we will have troubles, and that we go through these things, uh, but you also tell us in our scripture verse for today to take heart, to have courage, to not be worried or dismayed, because you go with us wherever we go. Lord, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for protecting us. Uh, thank you for guiding us, and continue to be able to lift us up, uh, continue just a special blessing upon all of our uh, veterans today, Lord that they may be able to uh, just receive a special dose of your spirit today. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Blessings to you, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday as we get to use one of the greatest freedoms that we have in our country, the opportunity to be able to worship together.